Look at it so very easy. My name is Laura and today let's take some empty candy bags, a zipper, and make some little zippered pouches. It's a lot of fun to make. To start with we're going to need some empty candy bags and a product called Heat and Bond Vinyl. So this product is a sewable vinyl and it adheres to what product you want with the iron. So it's really quick and easy. The iron-on vinyl needs to be used with a medium dry iron. You don't need a higher heat because we don't want to melt it. We just want to stick the layers together. So I have two empty candy bags. I want to make them about the same size and I'm just going to cut them apart and I'm going to cut off the pieces that are folded over and those areas that the bag was sealed in. Once you have the bags cut open, make sure that the surfaces are clean and dry. And I like to cut both of my bags the same size because I'm going to have them on each side of my zippered case. The vinyl has grid lines on the back, so you're going to be able to follow the grid lines and cut it. And make that vinyl a little bit bigger than your bag. You're going to be able to peel off that paper along the back. And that back is going to be just a little bit tacky. So you're going to be able to take that piece and stick it right on top and just smooth it out flat with your hand. With that same piece of paper that you just took off, you're going to be able to place that so that shiny side is down and the little cut marks are placed up. You're going to put it right over top. You're going to go to the iron and press this. You're just going to be able to take the iron and hold the iron down for about eight seconds as you go along. And that way the entire area is going to be covered. And that paper is going to protect the iron from that vinyl. And only medium heat, no steam. And when the pressing is done, the bag is stuck onto this vinyl. You're going to be able to turn it over and place a second piece of vinyl on the back side. You're gonna do it the same way. So the side that came off the paper it's going to go on the back of that bag. Smooth it down so there are no wrinkles. And with that paper on top, give it another press. So both the candy wrapper bags have vinyl on both sides. So we've made vinyl fabric out of the candy bags. We're going to add zippers now. The bag is going to go together so that both sides are facing out. So I'm going to want a zipper down the center. What size zipper is going to be the size that will fit the bags that you have used? I like to have a zipper a little bit bigger just because it's easier to open and close and it's also easier to work with. So I need to sew the bags onto each side of that zipper. Trim around that bag at a quarter inch so they'll both be the same size. So I'm going to sew one side on the zipper at a time and I find it's easier if I lay the bag out and I'm going to take the one side away. This side needs to be sewn on that side. So I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to have that little quarter inch follow along the edge of that zipper. I have the little end sticking out on one side and the closed end sticking out on the other. That way I won't have to worry about running over it with the machine. Just take your zipper foot and stitch right along that edge just like you would fabric to that zipper. So on the right side of the bag the zipper is going to be facing down. When we have that seam stitched and just finger press that seam down and it's going to fold over and just for some extra strength do a row of top stitch. When the one side is done I'm going to do the second and by doing it this way I'm going to be able to line up those edges. So the right side of the zipper and the right side of the bag are both up. I can just take that bag and flip it so the right sides are touching, line up the edges, and I'm going to be able to stitch the zipper on following that edge. Fold that seam so the zipper lays flat and top stitch on the other side. So both the sides of the bag are done. They've been top stitched and I still have the ends poking on both sides. And you can see how that bag is going to be able to open when it's stitched together. Before you sew this together, you need to open up that zipper or you won't be able to turn the bag right side out. 
So open the zipper at least halfway. Now you're going to be able to fold the bag and stitch from one end of the zipper all the way around the bag to the other end of the zipper. When you come to the end, you have a little bit that has been left over here. That's fine, just stitch up as close as you can. Once that bag is stitched together, we can take that end that is open and cover it with a piece of fabric. Just take a piece of fabric, fold it in half and fold it in half. Just place it right along the edge of that zipper and you can stitch that piece of fabric down. So I've just stitched it on, now I can cut off the edge. Now we can turn the bag right side out. It is vinyl so you're just going to have to be careful as you're turning because it doesn't feel like fabric, it is a vinyl. So gently turn the bag. When you turn the bag right side out, just poke out the corners and just use your fingers to poke those out and smooth out the wrinkles. Those wrinkles will come out just with a little heat of your hand. The bag is now done. So now I have a nice zippered case with my favorite candy bags. I do hope you give it a try and as always, thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, Come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.